A Daytona NASCAR finale is inevitable. Now, I don't like saying this, and I really hope I am wrong on this, but I don't think I am. There's been a lot of talk about the 2024 schedule, both from fans and a lot in the industry. And one that caught my ear, of course, was Denny Hamlin. And some of the stuff he talked about, of course, was it being too gimmicky. That it really, the big point of this is that NASCAR is gimmicking up the schedule more and more to make the champion more about the moment rather than who is the best. Which, duh, everyone knows that. There's two super speedways and two road courses in the 10 race playoffs, two super speedways to start off the season in an attempt to get ratings up, three super speedway races in the last 12 races of the season in 2024, meaning that in the final third of the season, one in four races will be run at a drafting track, either Atlanta, Talladega, or Daytona, and there's also rumors that Texas Motor Speedway might become a super speedway. Now, why am I leading off with all of this? What is the big grand point that will go into Daytona being the finale with this? Well, it's the direction NASCAR's going. They have made no secrets whatsoever that they are going for sports entertainment rather than just full-on sports the way that many would think of NASCAR 20 years ago. Where, yeah, NASCAR might have some crazy-ass things up their sleeve, but generally they're going to have the champion and anyone around the champion in contention be the best of the best, and the moments will play themselves out. They really can't control too much other than maybe a debris caution here or there. But they've outright said it at this point. Steve Phelps, Ben Kennedy, all of those who are running the sport have said sports entertainment in some way or their actions have said that. They made points changes throughout the season of what awards what. Schedule changes, like I said, the playoffs in the first two races. Playoffs in general. Stage breaks and adding the breaks back into road courses when they weren't there to begin with. All of this support going towards sports entertainment with their actions. NASCAR definitely is doing this in order to get viewership up. That is no secret whatsoever. There's a reason they've changed stuff in the entirety of this backslide and now kind of leveling out that they've had. They want to grow their audience. Who doesn't? But the thing about this is that NASCAR needs people to watch at the end of the season. While they've been doing it forever, it is still always the biggest threat, and that is football. Football against NASCAR in about the last third of the season has always been the biggest threat. It always will be the biggest threat. And you can also sprinkle in other sports leagues, too, that'll add different dynamics of taking away viewership from NASCAR. There's a reason the first two-thirds of the schedule really isn't gimmicked up all that much. It's the end. And... With this, you have the big reason for the chase being made in 2004 when Nextel came in, and then the playoffs, or at least elimination style in 2014, then playoffs in 2017, being made after that. But there's also the issue at the end of the season, and it's become a playoff-wide issue rather than just the end of the season, but especially the last three or so races just aren't being watched. Homestead and Phoenix, they just don't bring people in. Homestead's a fun racetrack. I love watching races there in person as well as at home, but it's not going to bring many people outside of diehard NASCAR fans in. Phoenix outright sucks to most fans. At least that's how they look at it. And then you have NASCAR needing some kind of finale that's going to live up to the hype. Yeah, you can hype it up all week after the Hail Melon, but it's not going to mean much when he can't pass and whoever wins a race off pit road is going to be the champion. That's the problem that they have right now, I think, with it. Homestead, yeah, you can make up time, but still, it's not going to be all that flashy. What will be flashy? That's what they need. They need a lasting change that will bring eyes in at the end of the season no matter what and has some kind of name to it. Then, of course, knowing the title of this video, you know where I'm heading with this, but people have talked about maybe they change it to a three-race finale and have it be kind of flashy at the end. But that goes against what NASCAR's wanting. They're wanting those Game 7 moments, those flashy moments, and you really can't have that at least guaranteed like they're trying to do with three races. There could always be two races that take out three of the guys, and the other one just has to go home and be really careful at Phoenix. And... That's why probably the original chase failed. Jimmy Johnson broke the system over his knee with a sickening crack, and now you have the 
elimination style. It was a reactionary change to Johnson being so dominant. And they want to be like other sports, but it's pretty clear which ones they want to be like. They want the elimination style format or a playoff rounds at least, similar to that of March Madness, or I guess you could even say other playoffs in general in sports. But they want it to be one event, kind of like their version of the Super Bowl. Look at the NBA Finals. That's about 8 to 17 days, same with the Stanley Cup. And the World Series usually goes between 5 and 9 days, depending on scheduling. NASCAR would have their final round consist of three separate weekends, which would make it around that same length of the NBA Finals if you look at the days apart. But still, that is three weeks that the entire championship battle can fall even further into irrelevancy compared to the NFL or the World Series, which will be going on around the same time. And that's how probably NASCAR is looking at it. NASCAR needs to change it to a track that people would want to go to, but that needs to be an ISC track. So you're eliminating probably over half the tracks. I haven't counted the number off the top of my head, but you're getting rid of all the independent tracks, the lease tracks, and the SMI tracks. NASCAR is not going to let this date go, but they also need a track with good enough weather to basically host a race comfortably in November. And to me, that leaves seven tracks. Auto Club, Darlington, Daytona, Homestead, Martinsville, Phoenix, and Talladega. All right, those are some pretty good tracks, but why is Daytona still screaming out to me? Well, you need good ratings or a track with a big market, or at least a track with a good name. One of those three things needs to be in this. And short tracks really don't have good ratings, so you kind of have to get rid of Martinsville. Darlington doesn't bring in good ratings either, and NASCAR has made it known they're not changing it from their Labor Day weekend with the new schedule. So that leaves Auto Club, Daytona, Homestead, Phoenix, and Talladega. Five tracks, okay. Why am I choosing these five tracks? Well, they take those criteria I've talked about, and they're still in the running. So where do we go from here? Well, there's got to be something to boost the finale in some way. A market that they can really, really push hard and maybe try and keep breaking into, or something crazy on track. And to me, that leaves Auto Club, Daytona, and Talladega. The most entertaining you could have, and the biggest kind of market value you could have. And then you have to look at good attendance or intrigue. And while there's intrigue in Talladega, I'm sorry, the fall race did not have that good of attendance. It just kind of, it was mediocre at best. That's the best way I can put it. So that leaves Auto Club and Daytona. And to me, it's still all Daytona. Auto Club, yes, is having some things happen, but it's pretty clear that it's unclear. That's the best way I can put it. The muddiest way I can put it because it fits what Auto Club has right now. Yeah, it probably is gonna happen, but we don't know. There's been nothing really confirmed about it. And that leaves Daytona for me. Daytona is in the direction NASCAR's going in. Pure entertainment, super speedway racing. It's the biggest, baddest track they can think of for this that will bring in the most eyes, the most people with the best name appeal. It brings that intrigue. Anyone could win this race. Anyone on the final lap could be fourth behind their three competitors for the championship and then somehow win. They could have all three crashing, flipping down the front stretch in the most entertaining way possible that'll catch the most eyes of normies that don't even give a damn about racing outside of just the highlights. And that's Daytona. It's a season bookend. Front and back, Daytona. Generally, there's pretty good weather in November for Florida at this time of year, at least by Florida standards. NASCAR would know better than anyone how this is, seeing how they're based there. Chaos galore, of course, as we talked about. And with that, you have those other ones you could talk about. Auto Club, yeah, you could talk about it, but it's not a surefire hit yet. Also, you got Phoenix. It's hated by a lot of fans because it just doesn't put on great racing. Homestead didn't work for NASCAR. There's a reason they probably moved on from that, even if fans would want that to come back. It's the biggest stage to be on in NASCAR for the championship race. It makes sense to me, even if I don't agree with it. The big thing I see is where it is right now in late August. It's in the peak hurricane season for Florida, and eventually it's going to get hit or be under threat. And I don't see NASCAR wanting to have some kind of really bad story or publicity about them, especially right now. We're 60 to 100,000 people heading to this race get stranded. They would have to call it definitely a little bit before. It wouldn't have to be maybe weeks before, 
But the week of, they would have to call it. And what do you do? Well, there's no bye weeks in the playoffs. It's 10 straight weeks of racing. So you do what you did this year. You move Darlington to the regular season finale in most years, or Atlanta would be the case if it were this year, per se. And Daytona gets its test as the finale at the end of the season, the only place they can fit it. That's how I see it's going to happen. It's going to get moved at some point. It's going to probably have a great story, and NASCAR is going to move this for entertainment value. But that's just my thoughts. It's my reckless speculation. I'm not confirming anything. I'm just saying this is what I think is going to happen. So now I want to pass it on to you and ask, do you think Daytona should have a shot at the finale, or is that just too chaotic even for NASCAR standards today? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're at it, leave a like on this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel for more great NASCAR content. Thank you so much to all my channel members for your continued support. And until next time, have a good one.